Good morning, everyone, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Dee, and I am an avid thrifter and reseller. I sell on YouTube every Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I also sell on eBay and Mercari. And to all of my current friends, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul uh, from Goodwill and Salvation Army. Uh, I got quite a few things and I got some really neat items uh, on this trip to my local uh, thrift stores. So we are going to get right into it as soon as I have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Very, very windy here today in upstate New York. Uh, we have a high wind warning. Alrighty, so let's do Salvation Army first. I'll do the boring things first to get those out of the way. Um, I did buy this bag of wood coasters. Um, they are, they have this nice uh, backing on them. And I am going to do a thrift flip on these. We're going to dress these up and make them really, really nice. There is a bag of six. So I picked those up. Gee, oh, let me do this. This I bought for myself. Look at this candle. <laughs> uh, I bought this to melt down. Uh for fall, for Halloween, because I like to make um, those skeleton candle, the skeleton sauna, and oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'll have to insert a pic. It's a skeleton in a bowl, and uh, it looks like he's like in a bathtub or in a sauna, and um, so I will be using this uh, to pour into the make the candle. Wow, that was difficult. Maybe I should go back out and come back in. Holy cow. Anyways, long story short, they're skeleton candles. <laughs> uh, then I got this uh, beautiful Vera Bradley wallet. It's in fabulous condition. And it's just, um, it doesn't have, you know, Tons of pockets and stuff. It just has one little thing in the center to separate the two sides. Um, there's no, like, slots for credit cards and stuff like that. But it's a nice wallet nonetheless. And it's a wristlet as well. I also got this vintage. You know me with the vintage purses. Look at this silver purse. The best part, though, is look at the clasp on this purse. <gasps> it is in perfect condition. Beautiful navy blue uh, lining. Wow. OMG. Fabulous. I'm going to have a, uh, a vintage purse sale. I don't know if I'm going to do it as a drop sale or just an extra sale. I'm not sure yet, but I will be doing it. All right. Um, then I got this purse. This is a beautiful, a genuine leather suede, um, bar like a barrel purse. It's in beautiful condition. Gorgeous. It's got one uh, zipper pocket on the inside. This is a very nice purse. Like I said, fabulous condition. All right. Then I got this clock. So, of course, it's one or the other that does not work on these clocks. Either it's the time the clock part that doesn't work, or it's the, the doohickey down here that spins around. In this case, it is the clock part that does not work. 
but that's okay because I bought it with the um, intentions of doing a thrift flip on this. Uh, I will probably take all of these components out and do a scene inside of here. So that's quite all right. I was hoping that the clock worked because a lot of people like these, but it doesn't work. So what can you do? It's made by Seiko as well. Wow, that's that's an old name, Seiko. Wow. <laughs> That's going back a few years. Mm-hmm. All righty. I did pick these up. Little straw. They're not little. <laughs> they're very good size. Strawberry salt and pepper shakers. They were missing their plugs, so I did replace the plugs with corks. And I actually have a, a strawberry teapot. Um, I may um, sell it as a lot. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so I picked those up. I found this beautiful Fenton hobnail little uh, planter vase. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. Of course, it isn't marked. So this is probably older Fenton, and it would have had a label on it. Um, Fenton started putting their um, embossed uh, name on the bottom. I think it was in 1971. I could be wrong. 71 or 70. So if it's before that, it would have had a paper label. Um, but like I said, it's in fantastic condition. I picked up this set of four uh, soup bowls. These are fabulous. They're made by Mulberry. And look at, these are beautiful. And every one is in perfect condition. And again, I got a set of four of these. These are amazing for soup, chili, I mean, whatever. They're, they're, and they're the perfect size. Actually, these would make good ice cream bowls too. Just saying. I like a good amount of ice cream in my bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I got a cart over there to put my items on. So when I'm done, I could just wheel it back into my inventory room. All right. I found these. Um, I did look them up, and most of the listings for these say they're made by Tilso. And these are uh, somewhat of like pixie figurines. They're a little creepy looking, but they're, they're pretty collectible. They sell for a decent price. So I figured I would pick them up. Uh, they are made in Hong Kong. Yeah, so I grabbed these when I saw them. I knew, I knew that these were on the vintage side, so they're pretty cool. I also grabbed this. This is a copper um, taper candle holder, wall sconce, I guess. Y'all, you won't believe the price they had on this. You will not believe it. I was like, Say what? Twenty one ninety nine. Yeah! Twenty one ninety nine. I said, "Hell no, hell no." I would never pay twenty two dollars for this. But I got it on sale, and I got a great deal, so I picked it up, and I think it's pretty cool. I love it. So, $22. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Mm -mm -mm. These people are losing their minds. Mm -hmm. All right. This is very cool. 
Now, some people might like it the color it is. I don't, but that's just me. Look at this candelabra. It's for taper candles, beautiful rose holders for the candles and a beautiful bird. I mean, this is, this is very, very cool. I love this piece. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the color, but I love the design. So I picked that up. I love it. I also got this mirror. This is an oldie. Not a big fan of the color on here either, but look how pretty this mirror is. Let me show you. I'm going to turn it upside down and show you the bow so I could get it in frame. But it's got a lot of detail on here. It is gorgeous. Here's the back. That's the way it came. So I myself would love to paint this up. Um, I can take the mirror out and it would make it much easier to paint. Um, I just, I love, love this mirror. I would paint it like an ivory color and then I would antique it to bring out all of those details. That is a beautiful mirror. Some people like it with the gold, you know. I mean, I can try and sell it like it is. If it doesn't sell, then I'll um, I'll flip it. All right, I found this little scoop. I just thought this was so cute. This is not old. This is just like a, a you know, like a repro farmhouse kind of looking uh, little scoop. I picked that up. And this was my favorite item. Guys, look at this. Look at this barrel basket with the handle. Oh my goodness. I love this. I did pay up for this. This is called Basket. It's made it's made by Basketville. It's not called Basketville. But um uh, handmade piece. Oh, I just love it. So, uh, that is everything that I got at uh, Salvation Army. And I spent $78.62. So, that is not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Moving on to Goodwill. I got quite a bit here. I'm not going to tell you what I spent till I get to the end. I got some great stuff. I really, really did. And I was quite surprised at my total um, with my discount because I done good. I done good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start with this item because I said if it was there when I went back, I was going to get it. And it is this adorable black and white check snowman jar. It's in perfect condition. There's no, no issues with this at all. I am loving the black and white with the snowman. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. I recently sold some Fitz and Floyd snowman pieces that were done with the black and white. And I loved them. So that's why I decided to grab him. He is adorable. That face, oh my gosh. His face is just fabulous. Um, speaking of snowmen, I bought this little primitive snowman. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. Isn't he adorable? Look at his little hat. It's got a jingle bell on there and he just, you know, he just stands and he is just stinking cute. I could not pass him up. 
I'm loving the primitive rustic vibe. I really am. Absolutely. He's a cutie. Let me set him like that. There we go. Okay. Couple boring things. I did buy these for myself. Um, when I do uh, thrift flips and I put feet on items, I am going to place these on the feet to protect um, the paint. Because if you're moving it back and forth, you're going to eventually uh, scrape off the paint. So I'm trying to prevent that by putting these little um, bumpers on them. So I got two packages of those. Okay. Um, also, another boring item is I got this. these for me, these um, five subject notebooks for uh, recording my sales in. Um, so I got those. I like to find useful things, you know. All right. Then I got these two... Um, Close pin bags. Oh my gosh. They're so cute and they have different patterns. This is the one pattern. And here's the other pattern. And I still love to hang my clothes outside. So um, these always come in handy. So I picked those up. Again, useful things. And then I got these... Um, for crafting. Uh, these are flower sack um, towels. I got two pair or two um, two sets of the flower sack towels and then another larger I don't know this is just a larger uh, towel. So I got those. This is a really cool gift set. Okay, come on, let me fix this. There we go. Uh, let me fix it. Oh, it's taped. It is um, this cool uh, wine stopper and a matching large um, coaster to put your bottle of wine on. So when it, if you chill your wine, um, it'll um, collect all the condensation from the bottle. So I thought that was a really nice gift set. If you know someone that um, loves to drink wine and they drink it out of a bottle and not a box, <laughs> you know who you are, you box drinkers. <laughs> um, this would make a great gift. <laughs> I have several friends that are wine box, wine box, boxed wine drinkers. <laughs> And that's perfectly okay. All right. Then I found a, this beautiful milk glass. Look at this. Little trinket dish or soap dish. This is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I was like, oh, let me have that. Thank you. Beautiful piece. And it's different. I found another pair of the Fenton Hobnail Taper Candle Holders. Um, again, these do not have Fenton embossed on the bottom. So these are before the 70s. They would have had a paper label on them. They are in perfect condition. I find a lot of Fenton Hobnail in this area where I'm from. I also find um, Westmoreland pieces. Uh, I got this beautiful frosted blue candy dish. There are no chips, cracks, or flea bites on this piece. It's beautiful. I love the color. And it has like the grape, grape uh, and leaf pattern on it. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I have three of these on my dresser, which is why I picked this up. And I was surprised that this was made in China. 
but they're these little like powder jars or whatever. And there's the lid. It's definitely silver plated. And yeah. And I keep uh, jewelry and stuff in mine or safety pins. Um, so I may keep this one for myself. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't decided, but yeah, I was surprised to find that because I haven't seen these in a very long time. So on my last Salvation Army trip, I scarfed out of Dale's cart the Bailey's Irish Cream coffee cups and these I found at Goodwill. And they are the creamer and the sugar. Oh, heck yeah, heck yeah. I was like, no way. Um, they're in great condition. I'm trying to see if there's any issues on here. I did, there's a, oh, there's a tiny little, what is that? Is that the mold line? It's like a manufacturing, um, it's a manufacturing flaw here. It's like a little, a uh, little piece of, you know, uh, glass, not, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Words are very hard today, y'all. Uh, this one is perfectly fine, the sugar bowl. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to find these. I, I meant to look them up before I uh, started filming the video and I forgot, but um, I'll let you know about what they sell for on eBay. Um, then I found this Art Glass Snowman and he's heavy, he's heavy and he is in perfect condition. Look at him, uh, there's the bottom. So actually, you could put fairy lights up inside here and he would look fantastic. Oh my gosh, or put him on a light base. Oh boy. He is, he's probably, I would say he's about 10, at least 10 inches tall. So he is, he's great. Love him. Then I found this, this is probably like an Indiana glass piece. I'm not quite positive, but it's the, it's not carnival glass, but it looks like carnival glass. It's that pretty blue um, oil slick kind of a finish on it. Um, it's in excellent condition. There's no uh, chips, cracks, or flea bites on it. Um, here's the inside. There's the bottom. I just have to wash it. And yeah, that's a pretty beautiful um, candy dish. Uh, then I found this and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be great for to put out in the fall or for Halloween. This would look amazing with candy corn in it. Oh my God, look at this bowl, art glass bowl. Uh, this was actually a Teleflora item, and it has like a brown edging on it. What a great fall piece this would be. It's got the clear pedestal. Really nice piece. I really like this a lot. I have four items left, guys. I got this awesome Halloween piece. Look at this. OMG, it is a pedestal. Look at that. You know, um, you could hang like crystal beads from here with because it's got these holes. You could hang stuff from here and really dress it up for Halloween. You could hang like spiders or something from those holes uh, with some wire. But I was like, this is just fantastic. I, I just, I love it. This reminds me of like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> do, 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 do. I remember, I only remember two shows from the Twilight Zone. 
the one that scared the bejeebers out of me when I was a kid was the one where the girl's doll comes to life. Oh my goodness. I probably crapped my pants when I saw that. And the other one was the one where um, this creature is on the outside of, of an airplane and it's like storming out and this guy's on a plane and he keeps seeing this creature outside the plane. I remember those two episodes and I was probably so scared from those two that I didn't watch anymore because <laughs> that's all I remember of that that show. So y'all let me know if you guys remember those two episodes. So I'm always on the lookout for frames and I found this one. This is a nice old frame. Now there's no glass in it, but look at the detail. Hello. Look at the detail on this frame. This is a nice wood frame. Um, so like I said, I'm always on the lookout for these really nice frames with a lot of detail. I may see about getting a piece of glass for it. I'm not sure yet. Um, because you can still put a picture in here without the glass and it would still look wonderful. So I haven't decided yet, but yeah. Then, oh, this is gonna be a wonderful thrift flip. Look, now this is a huge solid wood tray. Now, as you can see, it's got a lot of like ring marks on it. And um, there is a, where is it? There's a crack here, but I will get my Bondo and I will fill that crack in and sand it down. And you'll never know. Um, and the same thing with this handle here, if I can get it to, so you can see it right here. But this will be amazing when I am done with it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but I do have some visions. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see where this crazy mind of mine takes me. This next item is fantastic. Unfortunately, which is the case most of the time when you find these, it is missing the attachment to hang the bowl from the large bowl. Look at this amazing mid-century modern chip and dip set. Oh my goodness. So normally there would have been a metal attachment that sits in, in your bowl your chip, your dip bowl would hang like this, okay? Because this is for your dip and then your chips go in here. But you could still use the set. You just put the bowl of dip next to the big bowl. I And I did look online on eBay for the attachments. I am not paying $22, folks. Heck no. I'll just put the bowl right there. <laughs> but this is a great, great piece. And it's in, all the paint is in fantastic condition. Um, it really is. I mean, you got to figure, this is an old piece, you know? So that I was very happy to find. All right. Then I found this. I have to wash it. This is a beautiful piece of elegant depression glass. Um, I have not looked up the pattern, but I will, and I will insert the name of the pattern here for you. Uh, I got this gorgeous pedestal cake plate. Look at this. This is probably Fostoria, would be my guess, but I could be wrong. And it is in perfect condition. There are no issues with this at all. And it is beautiful. All right, guys. We are down to my last item, which was 
the best item that I found at Goodwill in quite a while, I have to say. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous Westmoreland fairy lamp. It is in perfect condition. Perfect condition. I will insert a picture at the end of the video of it lit up. And I could not grab this off the shelf fast enough. And all I kept saying was, please don't be chipped. Please don't be cracked. Please don't be damaged. <laughs> I untaped it and checked it all out. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so, yes, I'm so excited. All right. Let me put it down before I drop it with excitement. I spent $97, guys, $97, and I saved $30.49 with my 25% senior discount. So, I done real good on this trip. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit, please be sure <laughs> Please be sure and hit the thumbs up button and share my video out. If you are not a subscriber, please consider joining my crazy family here at the Thrill of the Thrift and hitting that subscribe button and also the bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video or go live. Don't forget, leave me a comment below. What was your favorite item? Okay, everyone, that is going to do it for another thrift haul video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.